Everyone begins the journey for a different reason. Whether we're looking to disconnect from the chaos or to reconnect to what matters most, to accomplish big goals or to feel impossibly small, we begin for different reasons, but we are all heading in the same direction. I think the Camino called me because of the circumstances that I suffered, the, the, the pain. Went through a breakup and uh, a really bad breakup and my mom um, passed away over Christmas. When you have that much pain, like you need to do, for me, I have to do like something almost radical. And so this was pretty radical to me. When I first started pilgrimages, it was really hard for me to like be in contact with God while walking because my mind would just like wander and I would get distracted or bored or something. So it's taken time to like master the art of communicating with God while also in the world and walking. You kind of come into this experience looking for something and sometimes it's not what you expect. Half the time my jaw is just dropped because of all the beauty and I'm like, this is absolutely stunning. And I feel like God speaks to me through beauty. Beauty changes people and challenge changes people. And that's the mission of Creatio is that beauty leads you somewhere. All right, guys, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Today, uh, I ask you to take pilgrimage into your consciousness, into your mind, into your heart. Let it soak deep in uh, as you become a pilgrim. The essence of being a pilgrim is to not be at home and to be immigrating to your home, to be moving through this place, to not get too comfortable. You want your physical pain to match your emotional and spiritual pain sometimes, and walking 15 to 20 miles a day seems like it could do that. But also, I really wanted to wrestle with God and ask Him to show me like what the heck He's doing in my life when it seems like super dark. And with losing my mom and just all the stuff of the last year, I feel lost like in a, in a real sense. I was not crying out that much in the first two days. And then I was crying out like, you know, after the third day is like, oh God, like you need to help me get through this. I need to see my wound, feel my wound, feel my sadness, my lack in order to beg for him. But that lack is like what we need to feel not like this sense of like accomplishment or something. Este, qué muy fuerte. Es muy pesado. 
Sí, pero muy fuerte. Ese, ese, mira, este, este no. We were walking and I saw these guys were selling wood poles, like hiking poles. And we were going to go up this like huge hill and then go down this mountain. I do like these. And they had no business whatsoever. So we talked to them a little bit. I bought two nice ones and I said, you know, have you done the Camino? And he said, well, I went up this mountain, but I never went to Santiago. And uh, we were all laughing. And But these guys were, they were just so free because they didn't even make it to Santiago, but maybe one day they will. Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. You can't get away from, your, from what you're living already. It's not about like getting to the end and like avoiding your problems. It's about learning to kind of walk with them. It's not just like suffering and penance, like it's such an interesting thing. The journey is like so beautiful that you can just enjoy one of the most beautiful landscapes you've ever seen in your life. And the birds are chirping and these rolling hills and cows are mooing and you're with friends. The journey is beautiful because walking is part of the destination. I just like get stuck in the thought process of like what's the point when you're walking up the hills but in the past I would have just stopped walking I would have just like said this is good enough I'm gonna sit here meet you guys up later but on this trip you can't really do that because <laughs> they're not turning around and coming back down I have to keep walking up the hill. We are doing it together. We are in community. I want to like lean on each other and lean on God. And that's like the Christian life. That is a meaningful life, full of depth. The essence of the Christian is the pilgrim who's always on the way, who's moving towards the Father. You know, Dostoevsky says in one of his novels, beauty will save the world. The beauty that I saw was so ridiculous that it was like saving me. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it wasn't what I was expecting. And maybe I couldn't see that like a few months ago, but I can see it now that beauty exists and it's like in abundance. really have to depend on others. So my heart is changing in that way. The world is so full of people who have the same desire as me. Many times I feel lonely because I feel like my desire is so big and that no one can relate to it or not many people. But everyone on the Camino somehow has like this huge desire that they have noticed and are aware of. And so I'm like, this is amazing. Like, because everyone on here is like me. A big part of pilgrimage is preparing ourselves to receive the glory of God. And so as we walk into Santiago, just think about how many miles you've put under your feet and some of your feet are looking pretty beat up. <laughs> you've sacrificed uh, a lot to be here. I encourage you, as we arrive, that you recommit yourself, that you, re you ask for, for, for a grace to be close to Christ, to be close to Jesus in the midst of this. Um, that's why we're here.
I woke up this morning saying it was kind of surreal that we're almost there. We started at like 208 kilometers. We can get so focused on the destination that we are completely blind to the journey, and then you miss everything. As you enter into your own experience of entering into the promised land, ask him to give you that new heart. Ask him to give you the graces that you've been hungering for for so long. really kind of worried, like, what do I do? Like, what do I feel? Sometimes I struggle with uh, emotion versus fact, and sometimes I feel like emotions are facts, but they're not. The fact is that I walked this with you guys, and we all walked together, and we all had these amazing experiences, and then we show our face, you know, and that's what heaven would be like, I guess. I feel found in a sense, um, yeah. That kept coming to me when I went to the tomb, you know, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, blessed be the Lord. He will give again, you know. Job just didn't end with like losing everything. He did lose everything and the Lord gave him everything again, you know. I can trust again in this God who is much, much bigger than me. I know that I belong to something so much greater than me and that he loves me uh, and I don't have to do it alone, which is the best part. We need something or someone to awaken our hearts, to stand next to us, look us in the eye and walk alongside as we sort through the fog. When we are open to seeing the world as one of both wonder and welcome, and we desire to take a step outside of ourselves to ask the hard questions, grace can break through.